Lesson 7.4a, Converting Inches to Centimeters, and we'll convert some other customary to metric. The two most common systems of measurement are the customary system and the metric system, and we can use these systems to determine length, weight or mass, and capacity of objects. In this lesson, we'll convert customary units to metric units using bar diagrams. This is a table that shows the equivalencies between customary and metric systems. And most of the conversions use this symbol, the approximate symbol, because decimal amounts have been rounded. Let's take a closer look. So as you can see, we have an equal sign for one inch equals two and 5,400 centimeters, but all the other equivalencies are using the approximation symbol because these decimals have been rounded so they're not equal, they're approximate. So we have to use an approximate symbol when we're doing these conversions. But because one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters, we can use an equal sign when we go from inches to centimeters. If a scissors is nine inches long, how long is it in centimeters? We can use a bar diagram to solve this problem. Each square represents one inch. We have nine of them. And if one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters, we're going to do the 2.54 centimeters times nine. We can write it as a unit rate of two and 54 hundredths centimeters over one inch. We're going to multiply it by nine. We cancel the common unit, the inch, and that's going to give us this 2.54 centimeters times 9. Do math on the side, and we get 22 and 86 hundredths centimeters. We have two jumps in the equation, so there's going to be two jumps in the product, aren't there? We know that 9 inches is equal to 22 and 86 hundredths centimeters, and that's how long the scissors is in centimeters. Here it's telling us to convert 7 feet to meters. And we see in our chart that 1 foot is equal to 305 thousandths of a meter. We have 0 0.305. If 0. 305 meters is approximately one foot, we need to find the product of 0 0.305 times seven feet for an approximate answer. We have our bar diagram. We have seven boxes that each represent one foot, and one foot is 305 thousandths of a meter we write a unit rate of 305 thousandths meter over one foot times seven feet. We cancel the common unit, cross off feet, cross off foot, and we get 0 0.305 meter times seven. Because we crossed off that common unit, this is what we get. We do a little math on the side, and we have three jumps in the equation, so there's going to be three jumps in our product, and we get two and 135 thousandths meters for seven feet. And that's approximate because we've got approximately on our chart. Because there's an approximation symbol there, we need to have an approximation symbol for our answer. See? Here we need to convert three ounces to grams. One ounce is 28 and 4 tenths grams. We have our bar diagram. We have three boxes for the three ounces. Here's one ounce, which is approximately 28 and 4 tenths grams. That means we need three of these. We have a unit rate of 28 and 4 tenths grams is one ounce. We're going to multiply it by three ounces. We're going to cancel that common unit, ounce, ounce, and we're going to be left with 28 and 4 tenths grams times three. 
We do the math on the side, and we get 8 and 52 hundredths. That means 3 ounces is approximately 8 and 52 hundredths grams. Now, if you're confused about this, cancel the common unit. We did that in the last lesson, 7.3, and I'll have links to that in the description if you missed it. So we're finished with this lesson. We're going to move on to the second part of using conversion factors. And we're going to try going from metric to customary in that lesson. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I hope you'll join me for our next lesson. Bye.